do this on my laptop, but apparently right now, it's hard. I mean, I already tried looking through other stuff, and, well, it didn't let me do it at the moment, and right now it's updating, so I'm unable to do it. So, thank you guys for a little patience, and I'm sorry that I couldn't do it sooner, but, you know, patience is a virtue. So, thank you guys for actually being here as well. And finally, guys, we finally got the issue. I've been long waiting to finally open this box. And I think that the camera's kind of reversed a little bit. Hold on. I think it is reversed. Interesting. Alrighty then. Ah, well, guess I'll just read the cards right there in front of you. So, basically, this is from the Vanguard Hard Fight series of the third, uh... Well, actually, in the second arc. No, third arc. Th the third arc of the V-series. During the high school competition tournament. The Vanguard Koshin, as it were. So basically, we got poo, as you can see it from the title of the screen. Actually, really excited right now to do this because there are a few. There's actually, uh, I'd say about six cards I actually wanted, but I do know that there is going to be some of them, a couple of them, uh, that are going to be a little hard for me to find. And I can't believe it. It actually was. Not expensive where I actually got this from. I'm happy. The price of were already getting jacked up, but you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't at all the huge jacked up. <sighs> yeah, well, I really did want to be on the big screen because I wanted to see myself on the big screen here, but no. How about you? We also got... A little plushy Pikachu with us, as you have seen me in the past. And also, we got a little guy over here from Jurassic World 2. So let's get on the unboxing. Alright, let's see. How many packs are in... Oh, how many packs? Yeah. How many packs are in this one? It is about... Uh... <laughs> Phone's vibrating. Okay. Oh, 12 packs. Okay. For each pack right here, it's going to be s seven. Seven cards in each. And there's only three clans in this one. It's Mega Colony. The Spike Brothers. Of course. The Dinosaur Chachikases. So excited. Alright, let's just get our little pack in nature. Get it carried with those in it. It looks like they finally updated something right now. I ain't using it right now. I ain't gonna switchy. Mm. Well, at least he's giving me the feed on what happened. It's a smaller box than the other ones, like the main boxes. This is just the extra booster box, but saying this is extra because this is just the ninth the first one was the the most unbelievable boxes unboxing we had done before it was on it record i recorded it but it was actually on the day before my birthday yeah so it's been already past one year since we had did that amazing six box opening Right now, just so wondering. What would happen if we actually did not do the unboxing? Of the destructive roar. That was amazing. I gotta admit, that was an amazing find out there. Alright, we already got the plastic out. And let's get this thing going. Let's see if we can get something good. 
Oh, by the way, actually, if you guys want to know, it was actually, I got it from Kaboom. I was there earlier today. Kaboom, collectibles, and comic books. Good place. Oh, fan. fan. Look at that. You already know, it's on YouTube, and it's also on Crunchyroll. As well as VRV. But, uh, well, Crunchyroll and VRV are only on the... It's only in the Japanese, uh, you know. Dub. Okay. Hey, Wolf. How's it going? I still haven't played Conan yet. I mean, I really gotta play Conan. <laughs> they always give you a preview on them. Maybe I'll try Bang Dream, Dream Party Girls Band Party. Huh. There's also Buddy Fight Ace in the back. Oh, snap. You know what's kind of funny? Last time when I opened one of the boxes that Pete actually, because I actually hand-picked one, because it was indeed for my birthday celebration, it was Force. And guess what again? Force 2! I have, don't remember who this one is, but that's funny. Force 2, Pete! Force! Case closed. I know. Good game. Good, good anime right there. Also, long at manga series. Pass a thousand trap dust. Mm. Okay. Alright, I should close this thing first. Because, uh. Yeah. I don't want any access to that, but you know. You guys can hear me, right? Okay, first we have the giant cannon mutant tower horn for Mega Colony. Ooh, this is actually one of the one of the cards I wanted. Armored Mammoth, Tachikaze. Good thing I'm separating these because you know there's three clans. Okay, make sure. Yeah, um, I don't know if Hulu actually has the. I actually don't know. I think I think Hulu actually have the series. I do know that Netflix actually has the Japanese episodes on there, but I think Crunchyroll maybe Crunchyroll does have a. I gotta check. Let me just separate these ones because these are also comments. Okay, I'm gonna put the comments here. Okay, we got Knockout Strong for Spike Brothers. Another common. Got three for three and three for one. Looks like we got the first critical trigger for Babitops. Small horn dragon for Tachikaze. The new one. Look, Omega, if you were here, you would be crying a hot dog. Look at the Triceratops. Look at the cuteness of it. And right then we got Angly Slank. Oh. Cannon Fire Dragon. It he came out during the first box of the first series of the extra boosters for the box I just said not too long right now. The destructive roar. He was our little draw trigger, but then I actually had to switch it because, you know, there was a preview of the draw trigger being a perfect guard. Which was Archbud! For Chuck Chikaze. Alright, for our first rare, it is Fiery Light Dragon. He's an Excel to Grade 3 user. Optical, optical Accelerator. Tachikaze. Ooh, look at the shine. Alright, gonna put you right here. Oh. This one actually can actually... I know this one's actually an SP as well. Savage Academian. For Tachikaze. And it's double rare. Our first double rare as well, guys. Put you right here too. For your Tachikazes. So yeah, there is going to be some dinosaurs in here. As well as football players and mutant Yes, indeed, shiny card. 
All right, we got Soundwave Dragon, Tonopolitsu. Giant Pterodactyl for Tachikaze. Intrigue Center. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers. Huh? All right, we got Elevation Whiteout. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers. Uh, Shelter Beetle, I think that came in the new one. It actually came in the uh, second episode. For Because uh, I don't remember Shelter Beetle being in the Destructive Roar. I know, he's not here. Uh, he was here yesterday, right? I know he was here, he was with me in the morning. Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Uh, but I don't think he's been here as much. So, Shelter Beetle. Critical Trigger for this series. He did not come out of the short floor. He came out of this one. Mega Colony. Alright, we got another Mega Colony. Jewel Flasha. Not a Critical Trigger. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, this is actually one I wanted to have right here. Oh, yeah. Light Blade Dragon, Sandilo Plo. <sighs> Take that, Tachikazes. I got you. Yes. Look at that blade, boy. Look at that blade. Alright, let me read the description for you. Act. Rear guard. Cost of rest this unit. Choose one of your rear guards and put the top card of your deck face down as an equipped gotch for that unit. Or move all of one of your rear guards equipped gotches to that unit. Then kind of last one. Then choose units gain 5,000 power until the end of the turn. For this one, actually it refers to like it has target chassis. Since the V series had started, they had the equip gauges, which actually lets them have power, determining how many number of quick gauges they actually have. There's actually abilities which, for each equip gauge they have, boom, their power is maxed. Or, you know, they unlock more abilities on the more turns it comes. But this one's not bad. Because there's actually a card that actually in this box that actually has more power when each equip gauge. Is equipped to it so I'll put you right here and I could not believe it guys I actually got the triple rare uh, destructive dragon dark Rex uh, he actually was he actually was an um, original card as well from the series but they didn't my buddy Pete told me that they were already gonna stop the uh, printing out original rares I was sad. I was like, I haven't even gotten even to open an original rare card out of one of the packs. And that's, well, yeah. Hello? No, I will not watch that. Get back over there, Twitch. I don't understand why Twitch is doing that. Get away from me. Yeah, cause I was actually uh, I had opened an app for the thing, and now it's there's <sighs> they're just showing up a lot of Twitch channels on me on my laptop. I should not have downloaded that thing. All right, the Destructive Dragon Dark Rex actually, but it is if it's in the drop drop zone, act. If your Vanguard's grade two or greater, and if you did not ride to anything during this turn. Discard two equipped gotchas and then ride this card as a stand or call it to rear. Continuous effect, Vanguard rear guard. During the battle attack, this unit gains 2,000 power for each one of your equipped gotchas. So basically, if you have 10 equipped gotchas, he gains 20,000 power. He's also an Excel user, too.
Yeah, I would not do. I would not. Uh, just take my advice. Do not download Twitch TV on your laptop. It's just gonna give you like you know streams of channels and stuff. It's not gonna like you know say hey you can actually do have any options on here. I'm like no. It didn't let me. It said download Streamlabs. I'm like I already have a problem with Streamlabs already. <laughs> hey, machining worker ant. He came out during the first uh, box of the disruptive roar. He's a really funner. He's your Vanguard. Not full runner. No full runners for us. And Connie. Machining worker ant. I'll kick you. I'll kick you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is new. Okay, we got Will Dress Mutant Algo Hill Bill Bug. It does not look like a, a Bill Bug. It does have a costume, though, but it's like a little witchy. It does have effect, though. Okay, dokie. During the battle that attacked a vanguard, if your opponent's card was put from a deck into the drop zone this turn, when your opponent would call guardians from his or her hand, he or she must call two more cards at the same time. So basically, if you sent your opponent's card into the drop zone during your turn, they must... When they battle. Well, we battle the Vanguard to them. They must call two guardians or more. In order to block the attacks. This is actually a continuous effect. It's only if this one attacks you. That's it. This little girl right here. That's one way to be tactical on this. It's kind of funny when it's called the Raging Tactics Bug. You kind of get the name now. Eh, Dragon Egg. I still have it as my Vanguard. I think that's the only Vanguard in there. Like for us. For Tachikazis. Ooh, Savage Rowdy. Yeah, that is a woman. Oh, it's a woman. It's actually a front trigger, too. Ooh. Hey, just in case of you guys who were loose on the heel triggers, we got Savage Shaman. Her touch of Kazis. Okay, we got Offensive Punter. For the... Spike Brothers! Spike Brothers! Alright, Rear Guard Power. When it boosts, Soul Blast 1. And this unit gains 2000 power until the end of that battle. At the end of that battle, draw a card and put this unit at the bottom of your deck. When roll upon, you can call it on Rear. That's not a bad idea. That's like giving you a full runner right there, but it's a great one. Not bad. Spike Brothers. Okay, Hiding Killer Leaf. Vanguard Rear Guard ability. When attacks a Vanguard, kind of blast one. Soul Blast one. And this unit gains 10,000 power until the end of that battle. Put the top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone. And if it's a grade one or greater, you draw a card. Yeah, Peter actually tried to. Well, actually, he did beat me. One time and then one more time. I really gotta get rid of that app. Okay. Yeah, because he would actually, me and him would actually battle each other on the phone. And he, we're both tied at one right now. So he was supposed to face me when the. His Spike Brothers, because he said that he already had completed them. 
And we haven't gotten to time yet. So this is our next rare, guys. Kill a leaf. Wow. All right. Let's go with this one. Mmm, it feels heavy. Ooh, this is actually one card I actually wanted to actually put. Because now, since there's great twos that have less power, however, they got double critical trick. They got double critical on the bottom. As you can see, that means they can actually deal damage twice instead. More power to them. Right there. You see this little crystal gem thing right there? It has a number on the bottom. Right there. One means it only deals one damage. Two means it deals two damage. And it's a common. I'll add that to my deck. Ooh, yes. Savage Mercenary. This one's a very specific one. But, ow. But, it does have a high power, though. Here's the specific abilities. You cannot ride this unit. It's a grade 3. You cannot ride it. If you have a no units disc with this Quip Gotch in the same column as this unit, this unit can attack. However, look at the power. Look at it. And it's huge. 23,000 power. You can't say you don't want it to put in there. Alright, another tower horn. Well, I didn't actually explain the ability for tower horn, so I'll explain it right here. Giant cannon mutant tower horn. Vanguard rearguard when place, discard a card from your hand. Draw a card, and if your opponent has no standing units, this unit gains 5,000 power until the end of turn. Basically, it's a bug that looks like a freaking tank. It's a great one. Caliper Millis. Spike Brothers. Spike Brothers. Critical Trigger. Silence Joker, Spike Brothers again. Ooh, Savage. Oh wait, the Savage Priest was the card that I actually then, I actually don't want because they actually started uh, printing out cards that, from Grade One said. This one can be your writing unit from Grade Zero to One, but you have to discard a card. But it's also a complete guard as well as you can see right here. By discarding card, you get to guard with that power. Hmm. Yeah, that's one unit I'm not going to use. Ooh! We got another double... Ah! Oh, Gun Wild Wolf! Yeah, this one's for the Spike Brothers. Vanguard Rearguard. When it attacks, counter blast. Oh, soul blast three. Great threes. Put any number of your rear guards in the bottom of your deck in any order, and until the end of the battle, when your opponent will call cards from his or her hand to the guardian circle, he or she must call the same number of cards as the number of cards put into your deck for this card or more at the same time. Good God. This fool, if you put six, if you put five cards back onto the bottom of your deck, you need five guardians in order to guard this attack. Otherwise, this fool will hit you. Not a bad card, if you say it myself. Except the only problem is... You're not going to have that many units to actually withstand yourself for the next attack. That's one way to erase so that you have emptiness. But it's a bad idea to do that too. 
Because there's another uh, clan that actually derives on not having any units on your opponent's side. And they do power up though. And since this is actually unbelievable for the Spike Brothers. So let's check right here. I think that's our first uh, double rare for them. Because we only have one rare with them. Let's uh, put it right there. Yeah, for Mega Color, we have one. Just one. What the heck? What is going on here? Yeah, it's a uh, 50-50 like that. It's a double-edged sword. Come on, where are you, VR? We need the VR. Alright, we got Blibble Bumble. I guess it's the B from Air Colony. Back brother us. I accidentally mixed them up by mistake. I'm just moving them back over here. Go, go. Okay. Prevoke Needle for Spike Brothers. If continues effects on rear guard, if it's on the rear with a force marker, this unit gains 10,000 power. Huh, nice. So either he gets force one, he gains another 10,000 power, he gets force two. He still gets a 10,000 power, but he actually has the, you know, the double critical. Vampirish little guy, isn't he? Hatable spot. Mega colony. Eh. Small horn baby tops. Same critical trigger, the cutesy, look at this, look at this, look at this. And Cleo, once again. Dark draw trigger. Really? All the dogs right there? No. Okay, we got a rare, uh, finally Neb Mutant Splash Hazard. <laughs> the room's gone. It's a fluff fest party. It's another one of those sentinel cards again, like you know. Right, just draw a card, discard a card, or you know, use that as a guard, discard a card to you know, complete guard. For make a colony. Hello. This is actually one of the cards I actually wanted. Don't drink soul dragon! Anger Blader! The VR for Tachikazes! Wow! <laughs> Sorry. I just go. Act! Put a rear guard face down as an equip gauge for another rear guard. So basically, any card on the field can become a equip gauge for that moment when it's on the field. So I take your opponent's card, that's a rear guard, and I equip it to one of my cards. Yes, it's actually a dinosaur, which had lightsaber swords made of lightning. As well as wing scales on top right there. You can see the spikes on top. Also done there. Basically we got a real Dino Dunder Zord. Okay. As I was saying. And. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards. Retire it. Vanguard ability. When it attacks, kind of plus one. 
Stand three of your rear guards with three or more equipped gotchas. And all your front row units gain plus 5,000 power. Until end of turn. <laughs> now that's a power boost. Hey, you get to get more cards. Well. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I think this was like 30 bucks or something. Hey, oh. <laughs> All right, we got Jackknife Janice. Respect, brothers. At the end of the battle, that boosts the rear guard. If that unit circle has a force marker, kind of a spawn, put that rear guard into your soul and draw a card. Anybody who loves ponytail girls? Careful. She bites back. Okay, we have a strong guy some muting. Jilt Slug. Continuous on the rear guard circle. This unit gains 5,000 for each of your opponent's rest back row rear guard units. So basically, this little guy, since his shield is at 10,000, he gains 5,000 shield extra for each card that's in your rest position yes i know cards can be expensive not like you know mass uh matches the gathering which old cards are still expensive they still use the old cards for it i mean vanguard still use it but you know we don't press it at that range actually i mean we can press it but you know we don't usually press it that much there are some uh specific rarities uh, from other sets from other clans that are really expensive. I was able to actually get one that was 150 twice. And I already sold it. It was actually a lot cheaper because I didn't want to go through all that people that who only you know, sell for 150. So I sold it for about 80 bucks each of those cards. Cha ching. Quick money right there. Because, you know, if you sell it right there for one or fifty, you're not gonna find a buyer that's gonna, you know, buy it like that the price of that much. You gotta find a buyer that wants to buy it now. <laughs> and we're willing to fight for that card. Card for minimal price, and then all of a sudden boop, 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 boop. It builds up, and they buy. Alright, we got Savage Ugger. Rear Guard Skill, Act. One turn only. Current Blast 1 and put an Equip Gauge on the bottom of your... Onto the bottom of your deck, and one of your units gain 10,000 power. Ooh. One of the Recycler cards. Just in case if you, you know you, you need an equip gauge that one card that's actually an equip gauge that you need back in your deck. She'll take it back to the deck at the bottom of the deck though. That's not bad. And it also powers up one of your units at the same time. This is like a win-win situation right there. She can take one. Puts it back. I know. I wish I did keep all my Pokemon cards to set that. Uh, they got eaten by Termite and Ants. I still have my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but I don't think they're that. I don't think they're right, you know. They're in the cell. Because, <sighs> you know, some cards are not, you know, valuable as they used to be. Okay, cheerful links. It's a draw trigger for respect by us. Cheer Tiara, Spike Brothers, heal trigger. Yes, she's pink haired. 
Okay, we got Spike Brothers, Dijonate, Bahir. Rear Guard Skill, when it attacks, Soul Blast 1, Dijonate, Bahir. Draw a card and this unit gains 10,000 power till the end of that battle. Yeah, if cheap, if they were sold cheap, yeah, I know. Spec for this, spec for this. And a uh, flowery terrier. Continuous rearguard skill. Your opponent's card was put from a deck into the drop zone this turn. This unit gains 5,000 power. What a beauty. I think it's like one of those mantises that actually, you know, dress, that actually camouflages. <laughs> Make a colony right there. Yeah. Well, look at you. I have my Pokemon cards not in a bin. I had them in a box. It was a buffet for those ants and termites. Salve Dragon. Once again, we got another one. Boom. We got another Savage Mercenary. Boom. None of that Jilt Slug again. Uh, we got Knockout Strong. For Spike Brothers. And uh, Kill Parade Melvis. Once again for critical triggers for the Spike Brothers. Ooh, what's this? Uh, Flare Blast Coyote. Regard skill when attacks. Soul Blast. Nine? Nine. That's a lot of cards in your soul. Until the end of that battle, this unit gains 3,000... 30,000 power? And your opponent kind of calls Sentinels from his or her hand. At the end of that battle, put all of your rear guards in the bottom of your deck in any order. Nani? Dang, this coyote is wild. He gained 3,000 power, folks. This power... Power, but got that cost so blasting nine. My gosh, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Okay, and we got Nurse Blaster for Mega Colony. All right, how many packs we have left in this one? Well, we got still got a lot. It's gonna be a long one. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me just put this first. So, excuse me for a second. Getting closer. I know you are. Oh, what am I? Oh, it worked. Sweet. Hey, you can see my lights right there. Alright. That worked. Ooh, there are damage of Clark. Uh, another Jack Knight Janus. Armored Mammoth. Oh, wait, I haven't talked about Armored Mammoth. Uh, regard scale when it attacks, discard off all of this unit's equipped gauges until the end of that battle when your opponent would call cards from his or her hand to the Guardian Circle. He or she must call the same number of cards as the number of equipped gauges discarded for this cost or more at the same time. So basically, if this little guy right here, or this big boy here, if he discards three of those equip gadgets that he has, you need to have three guardians in order to guard this attack. 
If not, boom, he gets you. Silent Shulker. Spike Brothers. Cheerful Lynx. Spike Brothers again. Man, why are we going to get more of these triggers here? Ooh, this this one actually wanted. Uh, Deflagration Dragon Bomb Raptor. This is the one I was actually talking about earlier. Okay. Rear guard skill, one turn. And when your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, you put the top card of your deck face down as an equip gotcha this unit. And you may have this unit gain 5,000 power till the end of turn for each of this unit's equip gauges. Oh. Awesome. Alrighty then. Okay, we have another double rare. This time it's Deranged Thaddeus. A grade 2. Rearguard skill. When attacks, counter blast 1. And you move all your force markers to this unit circle. Okay, so basically... Don't ever have this card if you're going to use force 2 markers. Because force 2 markers only just increases by 2 year critical. Welcome, hi. Uh, I guess you're here. So basically, force two markers. They only increase your that unit that you actually put the force marker on to the bottom of it by two. That's it. They only gain two. Doesn't matter if they get two more and stuff like. It just gains two. That's it. Force one markers on the other hand gain ten thousand power for each one. So this guy over here, boom. Yeah. We'll give you grand boost of power. When attacks hits, if the unit circle has a force marks, force marker, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. It's not a bad card to have right here. Boom, look at that shine. Look at that glistening shine right there. This is Daddy's. Daddy's home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Ooh, this is actually new. Uh, Whip Tilt Dragon Bashade Cardinal. Regard skill. When the attack of boost hits a Vanguard, this card comes from your hand or two card cards. I would not use this unit. And draw a card. It's another discarded card, draw card thing. What the heck? Yeah. Ooh, make a trainer. It came out during the first box. Full Spike Brothers. Yeah, I would not use this card. Mm. Hey, grade three. Uh, breaking Grand Mobile. For Spike Brothers. Rear guard skill when your vanguard attacked, counter blast one, soul blast one, break, 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 break. breaking grand mobile and sand this unit. Oh, in your place? He riding a tank or he's a tank? All right, we got Larva Mutant, Larva Draft. I don't think we even got this one. It's a draw trigger for Mega Colony. Medical Baller Rampili. Heal trigger for Mega Colony. Ah, okay. <laughs> Flare Blast Coyote. Another one. For a spike with us. And we got one of the expensive cards right there. Clear out dragon sweeper crocodile creeper copper creeper copper sweeper copper sweeper. I can't say it. Sweeper 
Sweeper, I could have got Koka though. Regard skill. One turn when it attacks a Vanguard. Put the top card with deck face down as a quick gauge for this unit. Kind of continue skill. Rearguard. This unit gains 5,000 for each of this unit's equip gauges. And it has three or more equip gauges. It cannot be chosen by your card ability cards. Your opponent's card's abilities. Yeah. It has a long ass name. That's all I gotta say. Boom. That's our triple rare right there for Mega. Uh, for. Tachikazes. And our Dinozord. Can't you say it? Bam. And man, Pete died. I didn't think I was going to get any of these. Okay, and on our Bebo Bumble. Another uh, Agile Bilbo. Machining Worker Ant. Another Grand Mobile for Spike by us. What the heck? I keep freaking doing this. No, I have them like that. I don't know if they could get disorganized. All right. Okay, okay. We have the Tira girl once again. You trigger for Spike Brothers. Looks like we got a big blow, Ted. I think they're doing like for scientific names. I know, I'm not kidding. It's actually his name. Big Blow Ted. Rear guard skill when plays put a great two or greater card from your drop zone onto the bottom of your deck. This unit gains 10,000 power until the end of turn. Not joking. This is actually his name. Okay. For this, and for Mega Colony, we got Machining Centipede. That's a rare act. Vanguard, rear guard. Count by one. Choose the same number of your opponent's units as the number of your rear guard's units that are in rest position. And until the end of your opponent's next turn, they lose twin drive intercept boost. And cannot gain those skills. Stand this unit. This sucks. I'm pretty sure Pete was going to try to use this on me multiple times. Golly, how poisonous that is. Not only you, all your opponent loses twin drive. Man. Unbelievable. Intercept and boost. And can I gain those skills? Stand this unit. What the heck? That is some poison. Then make a colony. Okay, we got our provoke needle. So I'm gonna actually put more of my cards in there. Okay, Windows, you gotta stop doing that. Savage Ogre, once again. Ooh, this is a new red light mutant tray. 
Rearguard skill. Act. One turn. Counter blast one. Choose two of your opponent's rearguards. Rest them. And this unit gains the power until the turn. Nice. It's not bad. Shelter Beetle. Welcome back. Uh, Geo Flasher. Ooh! Angry Roar Dragon. Roar Barrio. Regard skill in place. Kind of Soul Blast one. Put the top card of your deck. Face down is equipped gotcha for one of your other rear guards, and that unit gains 5,000 power until end of turn for each of its equipped gauges. Noish, that's another unit I want. Yay! Noish. Ooh! Now this is cool. Oh, I think this is actually uh, this is the card that Pete's been attacking me with multiple times. With his mega calling units. Uh, rear guard skill when it attacks a vanguard. It ha if all fire units are rest, counter blast one. Until the end of that battle, this unit gains 20,000 power. Then, soul blast two. Grade three units. Your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand, discards it. And he or she can only call the same grade from his or her hand as the discarded card's grade. Yeah, seven colors mutant stagger seven for mega colony. No more dogs in my room. <laughs> no more fluffy. Ah. Yeah, so much poison for mega colony. So much poison. Well, one came back. Which one was it? Ooh, Intrigue Center. We already, got, we already know about this guy. Let's see. We got a Mega Trainer. Okay. We got uh, Elevation Whiteout. Continuous. Rear Guard's unit. Oh, rear, guard. rear Guard ability. If it's on the Rear Guard with Force Marker, this unit gains 10,000 power once again. We gotta draw a trigger, larvae military level draw. You trigger. Medical battle rampeo. Meg Connie again. And we got a sweetie guard that sentinel cut for <sighs> Spike Brothers this time. And we got a ooh machining lady bomber. Rear guard skill when placed. Soul blast one and rest this unit. Choose any number of your fighters rear guards and rest them. If your opponent has three or less rear guards, you counter charge. That's interesting. I mean, if there's a ability we're actually having rest units, they might power up your units. That's one we go. It's a ladybug. All right, next box, guys. Cal's already full packs. Ah. I love that sound. Ooh. 
XL2. These ones come in three, you know, uh, Cell, Protect 2, and Force 2. First pack of the box. Of the second box. We got a Dragon Egg. Tachikasa. Put you guys right here. Hold on. There we go. Man, it's like something really hurting me right here. Like it's nothing there. Okay, another tower horn again. Bimbo Rubbo. From Air Connie. Okay, we got another uh, Treak Center. Uh, Savage Rowdy, front trigger for Tachikaze. That woman has muscles. Okay, now our splashers are doing the whole thing again with the... Make calling. Ooh, another deflation dragon, Barbaretta. Nice. For Tachikaze's. How fluffy was that one that came back? Okay, Ninka Trainer. Echo Bull Bug. Again. Provoke Needle. Spike Brothers. Savage Shaman. Heal trigger for Tachikaze's. Critical trigger for Spike Brothers. The so kill pattern made this. Big blow 10 once again. Ooh. This is good. This is good, I say. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is an interesting card for a grade one for Tachikaze's. Sharp Door Dragon, Pelican Spine. When retired from Rear Guy, activate all of the effects below according to the number numbers of equipped gauges A currently had. One or more Soul Charge. Two or more Counter Charge. Three or more. Move all those cards equipped gauges to one of your other rear guards. So basically it means that when it gets retired, move all those equipped gauges that it had to another rear guard. So, you know, basically you don't lose the equipped gauges. Because you do lose equipped gauges if one of those units do. Oh, Snowy left. Oh, it was Snowy. Yeah, so this boy right here is amazing. You must have this spawn in your deck. Look at that. Look at the description in there at the bottom. Yes, I know he's shiny. Shine, boy. Shine. Okay. Put that thing away. That's a bunch of money. Ooh, a horrible spot. My colony. Dragon egg. Sound wave dragon. Silent joker. Machining centipede. Huh. Another angry ward. Ah, for touch of Nani? Wow, we actually went that fast.
Yes, another shiny. Mm. Yeah, so far so good. We don't get the VR yet. There's usually a VR in here or SVR. That one's an expensive one. Okay, we got a breaking granite mobile again. Spike for less. Provoke needle again. Savage Alger, you're definitely gonna be in that one. Yeah. Another baby tops is so adorable. Look at this. I said it, Tops is so adorable. Man, seriously, I'll make I get to watch this. <laughs> Look at this adorable. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and Cleo. Draw trigger. Yes, it's on his back. Okay, Killer Leaf. Make Kalani. Mm. -hmm. Uh, Savage Priestess. Me. Okay, Red Light Meets in Flatre. Me. I'm not saying me anymore. This is actually a pretty good one anyway. And Colony? I hope I did not put them like this order again. Ah, oh, dang it, I did. Put you over there. Okay, looks like I didn't put any more of those. Okay. There's a lot of cons for, for Spike Brothers. Well, unbelievable. Okay. Center. Trina. Rowdy. Shaman. Uh, but a heel detonate for Spike with us. Ooh, Savage and Kandabinian uh, once again. That's two. Look at that beautiful woman right there. Hmm. I don't know if it can actually, you know, scan that thing. Oh, I think it might have done that right now. <laughs> yes, indeed, I do have extras. I just got a long extra. Well, it's a good thing I'll be going back to over there during the weekend. Back to the store, and then boom, we'll be opening more. Okay, and Elevation Wide Out for Mary, for Spike Brothers. House. Our Tower. I think we already have four of these now. Mammoth, we got another mammoth. Melvis, Choka, uh, Terrier, and Colony, and woohoo, we got another something ball. Yeah, boy. For Tachikazis. Come on, new cards. We haven't got any new cards in here. Knockout Strong. Already got that guy already coming out. Works Machining Worker Ant. <clears throat> Alka Bug. I think that's either the third one or the fourth one. Shooting now, cheerful links. It's like brothers, girl, chill, girl, Tiara. Spec brothers, coyote. Spec brothers, 
And, ooh, that's a triple rare right there, boys and girls. And this is actually a new one that I have not read yet. Rearguard skill when it attacks a Vanguard. This unit gets 2,000 power until end of that battle for each of your opponent's rest rear guard units. Then put a rear guard unit into your assault and your opponent cannot intercept until the end of turn. Yeah, he actually used this one on me. Uh, Spear attack mutant mega lower answer. Mega lower answer. This bull right here. Look at that lance, boys. Whew. Look at that poisoning electricity right there. He really knows how to use those units. Best. Ones that can actually knock out your cards, too. Yay, another demon spark. Uh, Janice again. Mammoth. I think that's our fourth. Uh, Speed Tone. Yeah, I think that is our fourth. Uh, Flash Air. And Connie. Lady Bama. Look at that lady. She a lady. Ooh. Did we already have this guy? Uh, fiery light dragon optical or missing? Yeah, we did. So this is our second one of this guy for Tachikazes. It's a Transorus Rex with a blaster in the background right there. Or it's not Transaurus Rex, but just different, you know, dinosaur about that with blaster on his back. Bumble. Uh, go. Cool. I I'm getting there and tired of saying this thing. I call Bill Bug. Uh, worker ant. Levadra. Rampoli. Trigger. Oh, I think we got a new one. Offensive punter. Win it boosts. Soul blast one. This unit gains 2,000 power for the end of the battle. At the end of the battle, draw a card and put this unit on the bottom of your deck. You made a profile, you may call this to rear guard. Oh no, we already got this one. Never mind. We already, we already got another. That's mean we got two offensive pillars now. Ooh, another stagger seven. Oh. So far, so good, guys. We don't have yet the SVR, the VR in this thing. Dragon Egg. Uh, Demo Spark. Savage Mercenary. Vitol again. Jewel Flasher. Great, nice splash here, sir. Oh, we got a double ray of boys and girls. And this one's actually for Mega Colony. Unrival Blade Rogue Climo Map Tooth Vanguard Rearguard Skill When attacks a Vanguard Count Blast One Soul Blast One If you see unit gains ten thousand power until end of the turn. Then put a top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone. And if it's a grade one or greater, this unit gains one gets a plus critical. Until the end of the turn, when rolled upon, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand, discards it, and one of your vanguards gains 5,000 power until the end of the turn for each of that card's grades. Oh, wait, I think he already has this one. I remember the skill. He does have this one. 
He does have this one. This is an incredible find right there. This is triple rare. Horn again. Uh, Janice. Slug. Larva draw. Uh, Rampleo. Hey, -o. another bone raptor. We got the face again. This time, because since there's been, you know, since the cover itself has three faces, we got in the face of Mega Colony for this box. Look at them blasters, boys. This bug knows business like no other. True demonic rifle rogue, gun and color cloyo. Vanguard skill when placed, this unit gets five thousand power, plus drive one. Until end of turn, then put the top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone. And if it's a grade three or greater, this unit gets ten thousand power, and a drive plus one, until end of turn. So basically. If I actually pull out, if he used it on me, because I know he used it on me multiple times, this guy. He already has an automatically grade plus one, so he's already going to have triple drive already. If he's able to get me for another unit that I actually put in the drop zone that's grade one or greater, he gains quadruple drive. So he checks cards four times for triggers. And it feels nice, the VR skin on top of right here. Vanguard skill, secondary. Act. Soul Blast 1, Grade 3. Put that top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone. Your opponent cannot call the same grade of that card from his or hand until the end of turn. So. I hope he actually, you know, multiple times I actually had to discard. I was like, huh, discard zero. It's like, damn. <laughs> he done that so many times on me that I was like, hold on, discard zero. I'm good. He's like, dang it, Tom. I want to use that affiliate. He's <laughs> like, nope. I know what it does. <laughs> No, but he doesn't say it in that voice. He's like, damn it! <laughs> like, he, he gets way too excited. We both get way too excited when we battle. Alright, we got... This is the last pack, guys, for this box. So, this is the last pack. Pack number 24. Savage Mercenary. Right there. All right, knockout strong. Spike Brothers. Jailed Slug again. Man, that Slug's been there multiple times, just like in the other ones. Cheerful Lynx. Tiara. Sweetie Guard. Unbelievable. And last one right there, Daddy's home. <laughs> oh my gosh! And that's it, guys. That's. I'm happy. That means either I get two other boxes, I can actually, or get one extra box. Either it's one or two boxes, I can actually get my other cards I need. For my Tachikasi deck. I need it. 
Yeah. I'm actually pretty happy over that. Yay. Look at me. I'm showering right here. Whee. Whee. <laughs> no. Not unless you want the hooter. Stare into the abyss. Oh no, this is actually more of a staring into the abyss. And it's the chubby Pikachu. Chubby. It's your chubby. Alright. I guess that's it. I mean, the box is already empty. Hey guys for joining me on here on this unboxing. Especially Wolf, like he's been in here. <laughs> yeah, I know it's Rollins. Like, hey, Rollins! Yes, it's the Plank Gang, boys. Yeah, I'm already picking up my packs. I can't leave a mess in my room. What the heck? That'll be stupid. All right, I guess I'll. I know it's a weird Pika, but it's the original Pika. What do you expect? It's chubby. It just doesn't have its, you know, the white indication in the eyes. Hey, old. It's all Pika. Except he, had a, he usually had a beanie on him because I always put a beanie on him. So, thank you guys for joining me. My cat came back. Hey! So, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. For another unboxing. <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta stop. I'll see you guys then. Bye. You guys all in the